Hi friends, thanks for tuning in. Today I want to show you how you can navigate to a URL from a Power App Canvas app. In my sample app here, we're creating a new event, and maybe once we create that event, we want to go search for party planning resources in Google. So say that we're creating an event for Festivus, and the event type. Incidentally, if you want to know how I got this default value to show up here in the dropdown, check out the video linked above and below. But let's say this is a holiday event, and as soon as I hit the Save button, I want to be taken to Google to easily search for party rentals near me, or I could go to any other website as well. So let me hit Save. And here we are in Google in that same tab, actually. This is easier than you think. Let me show you how I did this. Back here, I just have a simple Canvas app with a screen and a form to create a new event. And on the Save button, I'm submitting the form to save it to the database. To implement that part where we launch Google, we actually need a new line here. So let's say I do still want to submit the form and then go to Google. You don't actually have to submit the form though, or this doesn't have to be tied to a form at all. You could just use the same technique on any button or label or whatever on the on select property. But I'm going to submit the form, close that off with a semicolon, and then the magic line that does the work is here. We're using launch, and if I just put my mouse right inside that open parenthesis, you'll see that it's expecting an address, so that's the URL, different parameters. If I click in here, you'll see parameters or values being sent to the website that you're going to. So that's how I sent over that search query of party rentals near me. And then this last one here is the identity of the tab to launch the URL in. In this case, launch target.replace means keep me in the same tab where the Power App was and just replace it with Google. If you don't want that, if you want to open it up in a new tab, if you hit the dot here, you'll see the options you could do new. That'll open in a new tab. But we're going to go with replace. And that's basically everything you need to do. If you don't want to send parameters, you don't want to send a search query or anything like that, you can just remove this entirely. You do still need this section in here, so you'll need to keep the curly braces, but you can just take out that text. If you're going to something like Google or Bing or another search engine, this is a nice thing to send, but you don't have to. And then over here, again, you could update this to whatever URL you want. Okay, let me save these changes by hitting Control S. Now, one gotcha is if you just come up here to play or preview this in your designer here, and I'll type in the name of my event again, and save, remember that I said to keep this in the same tab when we go to Google. But you'll notice up there on the top that it actually opened up another tab. This only seems to be the case if you're running it, like I said, in this test designer back here. When you're running in the actual published application though, it'll keep you in that same tab. So let me publish this. I'll show you where to go get that published URL if you aren't sure. So over here in File, we'll publish. And then to get that URL, I'm back here in make.powerapps.com under apps. This is TTT events. And you can either just click on this name right here or come into details and grab this link right here. Let me open up a new tab. We'll paste that in. And this one you'll see when we open up Google, it'll keep me in the same tab. So keep an eye on that tab up there on the top and we stayed in the same tab. So just to got you there, depending on the behavior you want with a new tab or not, just know you might get different results based on where you're running it. Or at least this is true for me, I'm running an edge. You might have a different experience in different browsers. But that's it, that's how to navigate to any URL from your Canvas app. I hope you found it helpful. If you did, I'd really appreciate you hitting that like button so the video can spread to more people. And also think about subscribing for more Power Apps and Dynamics 365 content like this. Thank you so much for watching.